Hi, it's Adam Lafondre here, and I'm here to answer your questions, so let's go. What's the story behind sausage rolls, Chirag asked. Um, it's just Cockney rhyme. Um, back home it's, you know, sausage rolls are goals, and I've, I've always said that since uh, maybe five or six years now, so it sort of stuck with me. I took it to Australia and, you know, I thought I'd bring it India with me too. Uh, someone who I don't really know was asked, why do you walk like a penguin? His name is C.Y. Goddard or Goddard or something like that. Um, yeah, it's probably from carrying him all day. You know, I have to carry Sai around in a baby like this all day, so it puts a lot of stress on my hips, which probably forces my feet outwards um, to make me walk like that. So hopefully that will answer your question, uh, Mr. C.Y. Goddard. Who is your favourite cricketer, Harsh asked. Um, probably Kumar Sangakkara um, is probably my favourite all-time cricketer. English-wise, I'd probably say Joe Root or Ben Stokes um, in the current team. For me, who were my favourite, um, but overall I'd say Sangakkara. Um, he had a lot of grace the way he played and uh, myself being a wicket-keeper batsman, I loved him too. Owen asked, who's my favourite Indian celebrity? Um, I'd probably say Sandeep the physio here. Eh? Um, you know, he lives a high life, um, he's a serious roller and you know, he, he's the main man round here, so you can see why he's a, a big celebrity among the, the Mumbai faithful, so I'd probably say him. Ah, Karast, who's my favourite actor? I'd probably say um, Robbie Downer Jr. I think he's probably my, my favourite actor. Um, probably running him close is maybe Leonardo DiCaprio or, and, and Denzel, obviously, who are going to be in the top three. But I think Robert Downey Jr. for me is, is probably my, my favourite actor. Who has the worst hairstyle in Mumbai City FC? Um, probably Sai Goddard. Yeah, his, his trim's terrible. Um, well, I don't know what he can do really to fix himself up really. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Polishing a turd, as they say. What team are you playing in on your current FM21 save? Young Gunner asked. Uh, I'm still in Bulgaria with um, Nefto Chimic. Um, you know, we've, we've took over Bulgaria now. We're the most dominant team over there. I think we've won two leagues in a row, maybe a cup as well. So. Um, and qualify for the Champs League twice in the group stages. So, you know, I've set myself up for a, um, you know, a dynasty there. That's what I like doing. Um, the next is to assault the, you know, the Champions League and try and get out of the group. But it's hard when you get put in the group of death every season and you get walloped every season. So, um, you know, fun times ahead, I guess. Sidan asks, what's my me most memorable goal from the ISL? Um, so far this season, probably the, the Chennai winner um, late on from the throw-in was probably a vital goal. Um, we weren't playing our best and I sort of do what I do where I sort of nicked a goal out of nothing, um, a bit of a poacher's goal and you know, they're the sort of goals that I love scoring because they're my type of goals where you know anyone can score from 30 yards out, 25 yards out but not everyone can score the you know the fortuitous tapping where you put yourself in the right position nine times out of ten you get your just rewards and you know they're the goals I really do enjoy. Uh, at WT Football India asked, what's my favourite Indian food? Um, I'm pretty boring, you know, I think the, the food here is a little bit too spicy for me, if I'm honest. Um, I did try to, you know, sample a bit of the cuisine early on when I first started coming out of quarantine and it didn't quite sit well with me and um, we had a, I had a few battles with the toilet in the bedroom. Um, it was a bit of an ongoing battle until I took it out of my diet, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> the spices were just too much for me. But uh, some of the desserts are delightful, I'm not going to lie. Swapna last, who's the best Call of Duty partner in the, the Mumbai team? Uh, well, I've only got one partner and unfortunately it's Sai and he's terrible. You know, he, he's pretty much just the medic who runs around reviving people. He doesn't really shoot anyone and, and help with, you know, spotting people or trying to help you with, you know, backing you up. He tends to just run around with a sponge and, you know, try and wipe you up when you're, you know, you're half dead. And that's probably the best attribute he's got so far, I think. Vinayak asked, best young talent in the Mumbai City squad and league? I think in the squad, you know, obviously Vikram's a very good young player. Um, he's got a willingness to learn. Um, obviously Pranyal's still, still young and, you know, you've you seen what he did the other day. He was, he was outstanding when he came on and played. Within the league, I've been very impressed with uh, the centre mid at, at North East, I, I think Alpuya. And then obviously Chante as well is, has been very impressive. I think he may be 22, 23 and he, he looks to be a really good player. And, you know, there's a lot of good young talent in, in and across the league and you know, I think we're quite lucky at Mumbai that we've got quite a lot of the good young talent as well here so um, obviously it holds in good stead for the future for, for Mumbai too. Sahil asked, the most difficult defender you've faced in the ISL? 
I don't, I don't know about difficult, I wouldn't say I found anyone difficult to defend against, but I thought Donnick is a good defender, obviously at Goa. Um, I think, is it Chana Singh at Hyderabad is a good defender as well, and I'd probably say them two have probably been the standout defenders I've played against, I guess, but I, I wouldn't really say any defender's got the better of me, I'd say. Who is your best friend at Mumbai City squad? Abby Shek asked. Um, I think it's pretty obvious, obviously, I spend a lot of time looking after Sai Goddard. Um, He's uh, like my adopted son, why I'm here. Um, do a lot of parenting, you know, trying to get him a little bit stronger um, in the gym, a little bit stronger uh, mentally as well. Um, so I've really took him under my wing to, you know, just try and make him ready for the for the big brave world when he gets out there. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say he's probably the closest person I, I am close to um, within the squad. So Hill asked, what are your thoughts on the future of Indian football? I think they're very bright, um, you know, I think with the development, what's going on and on what I've seen this season, definitely the future's bright for Indian football. You know, obviously there's going to be more investment from clubs, um, besides obviously the City Group and, and Mumbai City, I think uh, everyone else is investing as well in, in academy and grassroots football here and I can see only good things for the future for Indian football, I think within five to ten years, if the investment and the, the growth can, continues to happen, then they're going to have, obviously, um, I'm not going to say they're going to win the World Cup or anything like that, but they're going to have obviously a successful period qualifying and, and give themselves a real good chance of getting to a World Cup and I think that would be a big leap for them. Who has the worst dressing sense? Shabazz asked. Um, Sai Goddard definitely, his gear's awful, um, he's not got a lot going for him, poor kid. Um, I'm trying to help him but it's just, it's just not happening so, you know, um, I don't know. We'll have to try and change that in the future for him. Druval asked about my uh, AFC Champions League experience. Yeah, I had a fantastic experience playing in that um, for Sydney. Obviously, I, I scored goals in that against. I played against some big players as well. We played against, obviously, Shanghai, SIPG, who had Hulk, Oscar, um, who was the other one? Elks and up front. So they had, obviously, you know, quality players there. We played against Ulsan, who won it last season. We played against John Buck as well and, and Kawasaki, some great teams. And it is an amazing experience. You know, you come up against totally different tactics and totally different, you know, cultural uh, of, of playing football. And it is really something you, you sink your teeth into because it's a really good challenge and test of you as a footballer. Deep asked, do I think young Indian footballers can play in the A-League? Uh, I, I certainly do. I think obviously there's a few players um, definitely this season that I've seen could definitely make the step up across to the A-League. It's just if they want to step out of the comfort zone and uh, and getting that attention to take them across there. I think obviously it'd be a, a great learning experience for them as well because you know, you're know learning a total different culture of football, like I said, with the, a the ACL. You go in there learning how to play a different style which only improves you as a player and I think definitely there's some pl young players here who can, who can definitely play in the A-League for sure. Atanu asked, what's my views on India and the ISL? Um, India is a beautiful country, um, I've had a lot of fun uh, and I'm still having a lot of fun obviously because we're still, we're still playing. It's a growing league and obviously a, a, gr a growing country as well, you know, um, there's a lot, a lot to be done here. Uh, football wise um, and I'm you know I'm pleased to be a part of it and you know help however I can to to help the growth of the Indian players in the, in our squad and, and across the league I think you know as a footballer that's your maybe legacy of what you leave is is how you've helped improve the next generation of footballers how you've imprinted on them you know if they've took any habits from you or anything they can take from you football wise then you know you hope you've done that and you know you've helped put smiles on the fans faces as well I think you know, ultimately football is an entertainment business and I think anyone who's watched this season will be duly entertained because, you know, there's been a lot, there's been a lot of, you know, ups and downs throughout the season for, I think, for every club and I think that's a, a credit to the, to the league for, you know, maintaining the bubble and the safety of all the players and staff during this time and getting every game on. Without a hiccup, I think, you know, you look across Europe uh, and other top leagues, they've struggled with COVID and, I think uh, India have, you know, you know, a precedent really that how well they've handled the situation for everyone involved and how safe everyone's been. And I think, you know, they should be applauded for that, um, for the way things have gone this season. Thanks, guys, for all your questions. It's been fun. See you soon.